You have those days when you're feeling really good about your lesson. You feel like you're engaging students. You feel like you know what's going on. So do you know how your students feel when you're having that feeling? Well, some of them are right on. Many of them feel like what you're hoping that they feel. They're happy. They're engaged. They understand what it is that you are trying to teach. Unfortunately, that doesn't cover all of your students. Some of your students may actually feel like this. They may be confused, not understanding what it is that you're saying, and really kind of lost in your lesson. And unfortunately, even worse, some may be feeling like this. Overwhelmed, disengaged, and just not understanding what it is you're trying to teach. But it's remember, important to remember that all of your students are smart and capable of learning your content. So how can we engage as many of them as possible? No, no, no. Not this type of engagement. How do we engage them in a way that is um, helping all of them learn and get the content that we need? Now we're not talking about this type of engagement either where everyone is smiling and happy and whatnot. Um, learning can be fun. Learning is fun. But it's not, not all fun and games. It's not all about this humor and laughter. So our teaching goal should always be neurological engagement. What can we do to get at different parts of the brain to really engage all students? Visually, kinesthetically, um, and in so many different ways that our students really get to work with the material. So when learning something new, we should ask, and we do ask, three basic questions. First, what will I learn? Second, how will I learn it? And third, and which gets an engagement, is why should I learn this? This is the most important thing when we're looking at the UDL principle of engagement. So to better engage our students, we must help to answer that final question, the why. Why is this important for me to understand? And this comes into play with writing and reading. This comes into play with math. This comes into play with physics and chemistry, communication, philosophy.